So here's what happened. I went to Walgreens after work and when I came back, my key wouldn't go inside the tumbler at all. And you know what? A lot of these locksmiths, they don't work on motorcycles. Finally, I found a locksmith that would come out. Once we got the key inside, even with his lock picking tools, he couldn't get it to turn because the tumbler was just too messed up. So here's what I'm thinking. We got one here, another tumbler here where the helmet goes for the helmet lock, which is broken. This is number three. We have a key here for that. And then we have tumbler here for number four. And then of course, number five is this tumbler here. So with five tumblers, if I replace this one tumbler here, I'm gonna have a different key to the other four tumblers. And since the keys look the same, it's gonna be really hard to tell which one's which. I'm thinking about taking the tumbler out of here and replacing it with the tumbler in here so that the key will be the same for the ignition and the cap lock. Yeah, the tumbler turns. It doesn't turn all the way. It probably needs to be lubricated. So to remove the seat, we're gonna remove this bolt and this comes right off. And this lifts up. And work its way out. Let's get this off. What the heck is holding these on? So we wanna get this lock off. I'm gonna start by doing a little tapping and then trying to use this screwdriver to loosen it up a bit. I think it loosened, I thought I saw it turn. Yeah, it's turning. I see it turning. Cool. This is how to remove a motorcycle helmet lock. So I got this side off, that screw there. Try not to lose it. This one I've already tapped loose and successfully removed. It's just threaded on. It's not a pop rivet like I thought it was. It's actually a threaded bolt. See this here? These are threaded bolts that come right out. And they just don't have uh, any kind of tip on it. Now we got this out. It's a matter of just popping this back off. My workbench is a storage container. I think just wiggling this should pop it off. This, this is aluminum and it's bending pretty easy. There we go. A little bit of wiggle here. A little bit of wiggle there. It's coming off. Be nice to have a, a good grip. What's this? Oh, that doesn't look good. That's probably, that's the reason why it wasn't even working anymore. This little piece of plastic fell out. Let's get the key in there and see what we have to work with. Uh, we got a tumbler that's completely tumbling. There's a retaining pin here. Does this just push down? This here pushes down and that releases the tumbler. These pins, it's really greasy and dirty. I'm pretty certain cleaning this really good is gonna help. And relubing it, I got my uh, marine grease here. I might switch the actual tumblers. So let's not worry about cleaning it. I'm gonna focus on getting this removed. There should be another one down here. Underneath. Oh. There's a spacer that just got loose. Oh, crap. Now I have to take this whole thing off. What else is holding this on? There it is, yes. Got it. How to uh, get this removed. It's a little tiny. Is this little tiny star thing? Yeah, it looks like it just pops right off. Oh, sweet. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Now if I just put the new pins from the old one into this one, and then install this back in, 
that should be sufficient. Okay, from here we'll start to put the new the new tumblers. So one by one, I'll take this out, put that new one in there. There's the first one. Let's take out the second one. Wipe her down, grease it up. Let's get a spring on it. I'll put that on there. I think that's the problem. This spring is bent. Let's try this spring. Yeah. So probably that's how that broke is this spring here was bent. Let's go with number three. Add the spring. Let's get that in there. Here's number four. Number five. This last one is bent. That's what it is. Let's try to bend it back. Now, if everything is as planned, this should slip back in. And when the key is inserted, all the tumblers should go down. Oh, look at that. All the tumblers went down. Okay, that's what we want. There's a thing here that needs to go down in order for this to flip in. And then I fill it lock in place. And there we go. Oh my God, I can't believe it works. Is it working? No, it's not working. I got no power. Okay, good thing I checked. In my uh, bit collection, I found one of these star bits. Looks like it's coming out. Oh, that just popped right off. There's another one here. There's that pin. I push that pin in, and then I can pull this out. I think the problem is this one doesn't go down all the way. It needs to go down further. Let me try to flip it around the other way. Okay, this way works. Now it's coming on. After each bolt, I'm going to recheck the key. There we go. One more check. Cool. Now to put the cap back on. That's not how it goes. Off. On. That's how it goes. Let's get a little tap. So Check to make sure it comes on. Let's see. Lights on. There we go. Nice and tight. It's not tight. I think because I took it on and off too many times. Let's try to get this a little cinched. There it is. This off goes over on this side. That is much better. Just get bent. And I cross threaded it. Ugh. So what I need to do is uh, work that screw in, in and out to free up the threads. Okay, and we'll just put the seat back on. And it's just assembly like reverse. Not so bad. Where is the key? All these mosquitoes. Is this thing even working? Oh look, the springs are coming out. 